Oh, thank you. Um, yeah, I've even written notes. I normally just get on stage and talk shit, but now I've got to be serious. <laughs> um, look, yeah, Bong was right. I was uh, one of those wayward kids, those teenagers go through the 20s and uh, obviously up to the 30s, and then I finally come home. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate this night. Uh, we've got to be short and sharp. I've decided that, uh, speaking of Milne and also Maxie, who are going to be inducted, we're going to cut our speeches short by a couple of minutes so we can actually hear Lenny talk tonight. So, <laughs> never, heard, never heard him say a word, so we're really looking forward to that. But, look, I think there's a few people I really want to thank. And, uh, look, I don't think anybody in the footy club can go past Johnny Beveridge at the front here. Somebody who got me to the footy club in the first place, and uh, as uh, Kenny said, you know, in, uh, with plaited hair and beads, and I didn't get done in Bali, my sister's done in the backyard, but it was, I thought it still looked good. But um, to all the coaches we had throughout our career, we had, uh, unfortunately, through the 90s, we had a few of them. Um, and they say you learn something of every coach, so I'm pretty smart, I would have thought by now. To the players you play with, some of them that do make it, some of them that don't, and you know, I was very, very fortunate. When you look at some of the players behind us, some of the players in the room, some of the superstars, um, they're not legends that have uh, only seen killed a bit of the game. And you know, I, I often joke, you know, when I'm up on stage mucking around, saying, you know, a rover's only as good as their ruckman. You know, I won Robert Harvey, two Brownlows. Um, <laughs> being up here tonight proves it. So. Halves, I know you're in the room. I was only joking. You did it yourself. But to all the support staff as well, uh, I know they, they do get the accolades, but uh, they put up with a lot. The sports staff, the doctors, the trainers, the physios, all the volunteers. That's what I, we all love about footy clubs. And uh, a lot of those people still today are great friends of ours. We know Dr Stone. We ring up if we, you know, one of our daughters is sick or, sick or our son's sick in Queensland. We still talk to, to Stoney. So I really want to thank them. And, of course... Uh, my family, mum and dad. Mum going to the footy in the under nines with the streamers off the antenna uh, all the way through. Dad taking us to footy training with a six pack. Um, <laughs> so now I do it to my son, it's awesome. <laughs> That's why he plays footy. Um, but yeah, you know, your family do miss out. When you play AFL footy, footy is your number one. So families do miss out a lot. You know, especially through Easter, you, know, you look at the schooling, their birthdays, footy is number one. And unfortunately, through the 90s, we finished, uh, you know, the last season, didn't play a lot of finals. So that fell on Father's Day. So I missed a lot of Father's Days. Um, we're out celebrating our end of season. So I went wayward for a few days. Uh, so I apologise for not turning up to most Father's Day. But to my son, Boston, um, all he wants to do is wear the number 10. So... We hope he does. <laughs> to an A, um, if she has any more champagne, she'll remind you that she used to actually wee in the spa before the players got in it. <laughs> so she's pretty excited about that some years ago. And also to my eldest daughter, Caitlin, who in rooms like this, uh, every social club, every Saturday night, I used to have to tie a helium balloon to her so I knew where she was. So <laughs> we might have to have one around each other tonight by the end of it. But uh, I think, as uh, Kenny said, the most important thing, or the mo not thing, that's probably the wrong thing to say with Women's International Day tomorrow, but the most important person is Cherie. 17 years ago, nearly 18 years ago, I met Cherie, and yes, I could have ended up absolutely anywhere. And Yep, she actually drew the short straw. I don't know why, but uh, she's had to put up with me for 18 years and it's been, well, let's say eventful, never boring, and uh, just proud to be back here. And as a Hall of Famer, I really, really do appreciate it. So to the family at the St Kilda Footy Club, I do say thank you and congratulations to uh, all the other inductees. I'm very, very proud. Thank you.